Welcome to the Vertebrate Zoology Collections at the University of Utah's Museum of Natural History. We have approximately 80,000 specimens in our vertebrate zoology collections, about 20,000 amphibians and reptiles, 20,000 bird specimens, and we are just approaching 40,000 mammal specimens. Uh, the collections began as research scientists at the University of Utah would collect material for their research. And as uh, around the turn of the 19th century, and as they began to retire, the University of Utah had these collections and consolidated them together in a museum of natural history in the late 1960s. Some of our oldest specimens, um, as you can see here, are from these early collectors. This particular specimen is from 1895. It's a ground squirrel from up um, City Creek Canyon right here locally in uh, Salt Lake City and it was collected by George H. Bliss who was a student of biology in the University of Utah in the late 1800s. We also have this remarkable specimen of a roseate spoonbill. This specimen um, according to its tag was collected in July of 1919 and it was one of the very first specimens of roseate spoonbills um, that were found in a flock on the Great Salt Lake um, and collected um, in 1919. Other specimens that we have in the collection are called type specimens. These are the specimens that are used to describe or um, uh, characterize a new species or a new subspecies of um, animal. Angus Woodbury was a very prominent biologist at the University of Utah and he collected this specimen um, down near the Henry Mountains in Garfield County in 1929 and it is a holotype of a particular type of rattlesnake, as you can see here. This is the biology wet collections. This is where we store specimens in alcohol. These specimens um, are in phylogenetic order, which means we have them arranged by how they're related to each other in evolutionary relationships. This particular section of the collection are the amphibians. This is a lizard. Most of the lizards, snakes, um, mammals, turtles, and insects that we have in this collection are embalmed first, where we inject them with um, formalin, a type of embalming fluid, um, a, form of, a liquid form of formaldehyde. And then we store them in 70% ethyl alcohol with 30% distilled water, and we keep them in glass jars. This material was collected uh, May 1st, 1937, so it's uh, over 80 years old. This material will continue to last indefinitely as long as I do my job, which is the job of the collection manager, to manage and preserve the collections for, from the past for future use.